up YouTube back at it again have another really cheap in invert wow well, it's not even an inverter it's a freaking solar power bank I guess you would say might as well be one of those little power banks you get from freaking uh, Amazon that are like 10 bucks for like two of them but uh this thing I had to get this just one the name you know the fake endorsements and, this thing it's got to be cheesy inside so i basically got this just for the fun of it see what it can do see if it's uh worth buying for you know purchasing situations or not. maybe but uh we're gonna do an unboxing kind of thing with this uh these most most of these they're they're cheaply made but uh we're gonna take it apart see what's inside and we're gonna test the usb ports and uh Hopefully I can test the solar panel that's in here too, because apparently it comes with a solar panel to charge it. So let me uh, jump to uh, one charging it, and I'll show what comes in the package. I ain't going to do the whole take it out of the box kind of thing. So I'll just show what accessories it comes with and all that. Got everything out of the box. So, or like wall charging, like so to speak, or USB charging this thing. They give you what appears to be an XT style connector and if you guys are hobbyists and stuff like that building your own electronics you'll, you'll know what that is right there let me go ahead and get a shot right there but uh yeah they attach it to a usb um so i guess it charges at five volts um a little solar panel it's actually a glass solar panel so it's actually relatively um uh, decent build quality to be honest with you for a small one that they don't give me any specs on the back of course i can read up on that real quick that one also has the same connector as the usb port so now they're both the same let's see they give you both of those i'm gonna set these down here for a second bop, bop. but they give you three of these little lights here um, of course they're wrapped up. I'll, I'll test one or two of them and see if it'll actually plug all, all three of them and see they give you hooks to just hang it from the ceiling and whatnot. Maybe they'll like giant Hershey Kiss. Well, that's just me. They give you a barely deep carrier bag. Go ahead and get this off of here and this thing light. Very, very light. Like I said, it reminds me of those uh, little small um, battery uh, backup banks or whatever you get from like Amazon. They're kind of on the cheap side. I think they have like three um, 18650 uh, batteries in it. So it gives you some specs down here. I'm going to show you guys that too. And says it is 42 watt hours the solar panel is 5 volt at 5 watts um, and it says this thing weighs 670 grams you know what I actually have the scale we can test that Let's see how accurate this is Let's see. Wires, it's 700 grams. Freaking guy. Boom. Like I said, it should zero out. Boom. There we go. They put an extra battery in mine, I guess. I don't know where I got it from. Yeah, I don't know. Thing uh, cut on or not? Nope, she's stone dead. So uh, I'm gonna charge it and then bring you guys back. So I got it plugged in charging. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> I love doing these. These are it's make me excited just to see what's inside of them. But uh, 
it is charging. I tried the solar panel over here in the window, just to, you know, in the sun. Um, it didn't do anything. So <laughs> let this charge. I'll bring you guys back once it's fully charged. We'll do some tests on it. See so I'm charging this thing up here on my desk. <laughs> and I noticed that as it charges, the light flashes faster and faster. I guess that's a neat little option. But we'll see when it gets done. Well, it's done charging. Boom. Uh, so let's, <laughs> let's see what this thing can do. Let's, you know, let's see what these lights are about. Let's see how bright they are. Start with it. Plug this in. See what we got. I'll plug all three of them in. Push the last. I know the light on the front of it's supposed to last on low, opposed to the 32 hours. Am I going to test that? Absolutely not. Okay. You see that? It's all three of them lit up. Actually, fairly bright. Hmm. Use those for studio lights. So. All three of these sockets, it says uh, um, 3.2 volts, so probably about the same as uh, one 18650, depending on what it's rated for. What I'm interested in the most is there, what you get. Yeah, it turns on. So you get that light and that light. But it says it can last 32 hours with that light. 18 hours, I believe, with this light. Yeah. Let's tune that on. Tune it on. And the USB port here, which this thing is not. I mean, for what, what you get in this thing, <clears throat> you really don't get that much. These are for your uh, lights. USB obviously, that's the connector for the solar panel or a USB charger, on off button, and that's it. And then you got, you know, in case you lost your map. And then you got the uh, battery warranty, which is uh, five years made into the case. And blue carbon, I guess that's their brand. All right, so what we're gonna do is hook up the USB to this. See what we got. Make sure it's turned down before I blow this thing up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Plug her in. It's off right now. Turn that on. And we have 4.96. And we'll turn her up and see what happens. Move this up here a little bit. So we're saying 2 amps is what it can handle. Alright, and immediately jumped to 2 amps. And the voltage dropped to 4.6. So it handles 2 amps, but when does it cut out? Oh wow, look. <laughs> I guarantee if I turn it back down to go up. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing ain't regulated very well. <laughs> it does not like it. Okay. So it handled two amps, but it ain't charging much. So basically what I'm gonna do next, take it apart. That's the fun part. So where to begin? You got the use right down here, and I guarantee this whole thing just lifts right off of it. As you can see the nuts on the bottom of it. Right here, right here, right here, right here. And if you look in the bottom right here, that guarantee that's what holds the battery down. So what we'll do here is grab my handy dandy screwdriver. Figure out which bit I need. What's that one? Nope, it's more than that. No, it's that one. Wow, okay. So that barely works. <laughs> I 
you can see the nuts are all now. Got them on the floor. I'm telling you right now, this thing's going to be uh, pretty generic, but you'll see with the cheap uh, freaking uh, power banks or what you see on Amazon for dirt cheap. Let's see some 18650 batteries, better. That are barely within spec, cheap of the cheap. I'm not saying they're all bad, but as long as it has a BMS or some sort in here, that's all I really care about. Because if not, you're basically just blind charging some batteries, which I'm sure. Gotta have some kind of BMS in here. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. That off the floor. Boom. I'll do the unveiling here in a second. This up. the sun and for the unveil okay oh there we go oh that was not what I was expecting doesn't have any uh in fact that whole thing was coming right on everything so we look here hmm I'll unplug this unplug that wow there really isn't much to this thing boom boom so they just basically, you know, it's a lot of wasted space in there. This battery pack here, pretty cool actually. Interesting. It doesn't have, huh, it doesn't have a BMS unless it's made in here. Nope. It does not. No BMS. Go ahead. Take these off. Get some kind of bags. Oh, that's that's not going anywhere. Go ahead and get this the rest of off of here. Oh, they're glued to it. And I kid you not, this stuff is made from like scrap right here. The rough cuts on it. You look right here. They cut it really rough. <laughs> That's not cut with any kind of machine. It's literally broken off of there. So I don't know if these were just used cells that they got or or what. And it actually has 
32650 is that doesn't say how many amp hour on watt hour it's it is literally just hardwired in there interesting but here I'll go ahead and disassemble this some more should be all right so if you look here of course, this is designed to sit in here, but they got that. <laughs> it's not like that's big, right? But it's crazy how they do these cells. This is just like stud welded on it, and then they have a nut that's stud welded onto that. Interesting. So, I mean, I guess in actuality, how they can build packs, I guarantee this is the same size. You can sit here and put these together, and they screw together. Just like that. Or like this. So I bet my bottom dollar that these are discarded cells that didn't pass and they made these kind of cell. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> Interesting. But they they are 32650 cells, so and lithium iron phosphate, so and you can say C you got your TX30 plug right here, which is for your solar. But to me, it looks like it goes here. Negative, negative is all in the same. Positive goes straight to that. Wow. It's all it's all together. So that solar panel un <laughs> not regulated anyways charges the battery. And it just has a monitoring circuit that basically tells you whether or not it's charged or not. That's it. Cheap of the cheap. I mean, granted, dude, you could have just made this. All in one. Take that. Bam, like this. All in one. Just like that. You still had your flashlight on the other side. Oh, the carrying handle and all that stuff. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, but yeah. I guarantee these were discarded cells for some kind of set setup like this. And they needed something. You can see, connect just like that. Perfectly. Crazy. I'm gonna grab a voltmeter and see what the voltage of these things are. Alright. Got this going. So I'm gonna check the voltage on one of these. You should be able to see it here. 3.3. Three point three. I got that shit. But I want to know what cells these are. So give me a second. I'm gonna pull up these cells. Yeah, these are definitely lithium iron phosphate from the batch probably that was jacked up. Is there's no sleeves on it? Nothing like that. I mean, it does uh, correspond to what went back here of this shell. I'll keep these cells. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. You know what? I'm going to put it back together and use it.
that's going to conclude my review slash tear down slash, you know, put back together of the Wei Wu. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, Wei Wu solar generator. There you go. You guys have a good week.